in, in what ways does the gospel give you hope for the future, um, even in spite of all this sediment that's been shaken up? Mm-hmm. You know, I got my daughter coming home. She's in a primary. Uh, all of her friends are, are Hispanic, and mm. she's like, "Daddy, are they gonna send all my friends back to Mexico?" What? Why is my daughter having to ask me that question? Right. That ain't right. Right, right. So in the midst of that, I'm asking you to preach the gospel. Right, 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 right. right. Well, you know, the beautiful thing about the gospel is that it's of him, to him, and through him. He that begins the good work is faithful, right? He will perfect it. The gospel is about God's determination not to come down here and try it out. He's not coming down here to try to. He's... He's coming down here to do it. Um, Revelation gives us the end. It's going to happen. Um, and we get four tastes of glory divine. He always gives us deposits of, you know, previews of coming attractions. So we're going to experience it um, in this life and ultimately in the life to come. I think God keeps us looking, pressing toward Jerusalem. I mean, that's the way it is. Um, the gospel is about God's faithfulness to his own name. He says that he, he's faithful to himself. He can't deny himself. He says if you're faithless, he remains faithful because he can't deny himself. You know what I mean? Um, the, we call it the unilateral covenant with Abraham, where he puts him to sleep and says, this one, I can't even ask you to come to the table with anything because you can't. I'm going to put you to sleep and I'm going to basically do this thing myself, which will be, I swear by my name, that I'm going to succeed. Um, and so we got to be we got to be blessed by the fact that the Lord Jesus will succeed in bringing the gospel to fruition, um, its repercussions, and then restoration. I mean, that's part of the gospel, the consummation, the restoration. And he's going to be doing it. He's going to be doing it along the way. And then there's a climatic crescendo. Uh, so it's already not yet. I, I hope subscribe to. There's going to be a lot of already, but always still some not yet until that 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 moment. So gospel is encouraging me because it doesn't it ultimately doesn't rest on us he will raise up and move out he gives us an opportunity we get to participate but in the words of one old pastor he said get in get out or get run over um and so i'm just glad that the lord has us in and uh, one day we'll stand with him since he's gonna come back with an army squads of people like victorious and i uh, will we'll crown him lord of lords uh, lord of all so Amen. Yes.